everybody, how are you? Happy Friday. I forgot to put my buds in, but I'm close here, so you'll be able to hear me. How are you? Beautiful day, just finished up my last dance camp, and now just a few weeks before the teaching season begins and it's in full swing here. And um, I have some tips on hiring. Um, this is a stage in the business that I'm newer at, so um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a professional. However, um, and most of us in this group, you're starting out or have a small team. And I'm just gonna share with you just um, a couple things that I have been, hi, Sherilyn, good morning. Um, some, some things that I have um, learned from my mentors and coaches, and I wanted to share it with you. We've heard the phrase, hire slow, fire fast, because you wanna create this, um, team. You want to create this group of people that is on board with your vision and your mission. And it's scary because um, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to assume it. this is our baby. This is our, this is our passion. This is, you know, this is what keeps us up at night is our business and making sure it lasts. So we want to have good team members and we want to have faithful, trustworthy, driven team members. So um, I've started this journey and I've taken, um, I'm just going to talk about the hiring process. So hiring, I am really um, a fan of Michael Hyatt and what he says to do is he, he it was amazing listening to his uh, podcast regarding this um, and this is one thing he does is he makes everybody take, some, take an assessment. And I just did this for my team that I hired, um, and I'm asking them to take two assessments. I'm asking them to take the Myers-Briggs assessment and the Enneagram assessment. And I want them to give me their results, and then I am going to do my research. Not only is it good for them to learn about who they are and what, you know, it just I love learning about these, okay, because it's, it doesn't make you good, bad, right or wrong, anything. It's just, this is your normal, this is who you are, this is how you were designed. And to how to lead them well, okay? Um, I'm very driven, I'm very loyal. Um, so when somebody, you know, kind of flakes on a commitment, that is like a pet peeve of mine. Nothing drives me more crazy. But um, for somebody with, you know, just kind of a characteristic of this, but they're really, really good with people or something. and just targeting and knowing where their strengths are so you can put them in the best space possible. Um, maybe they wanna be the front desk person and their strengths are really organizational and really um, you know, more category and maybe more analytical. So they maybe be better behind the scenes doing some of that type of work and your front desk person is very friendly and customer orientated and getting them in the right place, okay? So that is what that's for, and I am using that, and that is my goal is to just be really mindful of my team. Of course, we have those, you know, you know, when you meet somebody, you're like, okay, yes, I think I can work with them. But when you d drill down a little bit and can learn, okay, this is going to work for, you know, what makes this best. Of course, asking for referrals, what doing their background check, getting that um, uh, referral from their previous employer or whatever. But I also um, ask my current team. And I give them a referral bonus. I threw that out to them. Um, because they know me and because they have worked with me, I said, maybe you know somebody else who would be good, a good fit here. And I would love to give you a bonus um, for referring them. And if they stay for the entire season or year, you get the other half of that bonus. So I put that out to my team members. Um, and what was interesting is that, um, one of them, it was very clear the money didn't drive her. It wasn't, she didn't care about that. And it was interesting to me because money is a driver for me. I'm like, okay, all right, I'll, I'll find some people and get that referral bonus. Um, but she was really um, thought thought like, okay, who could I ask and who am I going in? And she had some, maybe some other things in her life that she was thinking about like, cause she's transferring schools and stuff. So um, getting that referral and then having your team um, find people for you, okay? Because they are the best ones, right? Because they work with you. And then the last thing about hiring, and I got this from a um, fellow business owner that I just talked to this week. She makes sure after she interviews the person, she has that person come and say, you know what? Come on in. And um, I would like you just to come in for a couple hours and just come into the shop and I want you to meet my team. And it's not formal. They're kind of doing stuff like 
trying, you know, this was a clothing shop, so ironing or, hey, how about you put tags on this? And that way the team can get a vibe of the person, okay? So is there a way that you can bring that person in for kind of like a sampling to see if it's a good fit with a team, okay? Um, I just did this this week with a student. Um, this is a student that I wouldn't pick to be a teacher, okay? However, she's a student of mine. She's gonna be a senior. And um, I know that she needed NHS hours, National Honor Society hours. And I was like, hey, Emily, would you like to uh, volunteer for my camp? And I know you need National Honors. Uh, National Society uh, National Honor Society hours, volunteer hours, and this could count towards your hours because you're helping me. And she goes, yes, I'm always looking for hours of volunteer work. So she could come in for this week and learn what I'm doing, work with the children. I was blown away, you guys. This is a person, I, I mean, she's so soft-spoken and so quiet and doesn't make a peep in class. And she was amazing with the kids amazing so much so that I offered her an assistant position at the end of the first time she assisted me this summer so it was really cool and then so as I was talking to this business owner this week about hiring and her processes and learning from her and what she does I I told her my story of that she goes huh maybe I could do that I'm like maybe I don't know I, I mean if they need hours so I'm telling you this maybe you have your eye on somebody and chances are they're a good student or they're involved do they need some volunteer hours? And maybe you could bring them in for a day of photo shoots when you need an assistant and you can see how they work and see what their, you know, what the vibe is and how that, and give them kind of that test and taste and see if it's um, a fit for both of you. So that was just kind of my like aha moment this week with hiring. Um, and giving that person an opportunity to, um, that way you're not out any money and if it doesn't work, it's not a big deal. Okay, so three tips this week about hiring. So using an assessment, and this is really to make us better leaders, okay? It also is so um, so helpful and eye-opening. Like, oh, that's why I get ticked off with that. I mean, that's what it was for me. Um, referrals, okay, getting your people to refer other people to your business and then making sure you do your homework and checking in on, on their story and, and their and former employees. That's so big, because that's one, that's one for me that like if I, it's such a great feeling about somebody. I'm like, ah, I don't need to check their referrals or their back history. Always do it. And then um, have your team interview them. Find a way for your team to do it creatively. Okay. Um, have a great week, guys. This is something that I'm, I'm in the middle of, so I thought I'd share what I'm doing. Hope you guys are well. I'll have another question on Monday for you guys to vote on. Um, if you have something that you want to talk about, by all means. Oh, and then I want to tell you this. Um, I have a couple of strategy sessions, 90 minute strategy sessions. I am giving two away this month. I have, op I shouldn't say away, open this month. And it's for a very reasonable rate. Um, so if you are interested in an hour and a half strategy session, so sitting down with me via Zoom, talking or sitting in person if you're local and going through some stuff like, hey, Melissa, I really like your feedback on this. I can tell anybody else what to do in their business. It's when you're in the weeds. So maybe you're in the weeds in your business and you're just like, I, I just want to help me with this. Like, what do you think on this? Let's let's make that happen, okay? Um, two spots, because there's just two weeks left of summer here. So um, on a Friday, if that works, um, otherwise let's chat and we can make this happen. All right, so hour and a half, that's 90 minutes. Let me know if you want to book a strategy session with me. All right? Okay, guys. Peace. Bye-bye.